Okay, question 16 of practice test 2. CSEC Mathematics, paper 1. In the Venn diagram, the shaded region represents, okay, here, definitely, it is D, because what would be wrong with this? P union Q would be all of this, right? That would be the union. P intersect Q complement, what would that be? Q complement would be outside of Q and P intersect that would be that, right? So it's not B. If you say P complement intersect Q, P complement means outside of P, which is anything outside of P. And when that intersects Q, it would be in this region. So it's not C. Definitely it's D. So 16 is D. 17 is D to according to this. Let's look at it. Question 17. It says, let me increase the size a bit. That looks nice. All right. The equation of a line which passes through the point zero 02 and has a gradient of one third is, well, first of all, remember that the general equation of a straight line is y equal mx plus c, where m is the gradient, c is the y-intercept. You know that the gradient here is one third. So it's not a and it's not b. It has to be at a c or d because each of these is showing one third it intersects at 0, 2. That means if you have the x and y axis, 0 is the x value, 2 is the y value, so it intersects at 2. So it's definitely D. I think a while ago we looked at the fact that 17 was D. Right, 17 is D. 18 is C. Let's look at it. And remember, you know, let me remind you again, you should have done these questions already right and even if you didn't do all the questions when you reach a certain question that you did not do make sure you pause do that question and then watch the video after all right now the water authority charges ten dollars per month for the meter rent two dollars fifty for the first one thousand liters and 0 0.10 that's 10 cents for each additional 100 liters what is the total bill for 2500 liters in one month all right let's look at that you have ten dollars for the first 1000 liter you have 1000 liters plus let's, let's break this up 1000 you have 1500 left you have $2.50 for the first 1,000 liters. So that's $2.50. That's $2.50 gone already. All right? $2.50 gone. Then you have 1,500 liters left. Now, in the 1,500 liters, how many 100 liters do you have? Because you've already taken off the first 1,000 liters. How many 100 liters do you have left? There are 15 100 liters. It means 1,500 liters. So there are 15 100 liters left, right? 2,500 liters, you have 1,000 liters gone, 1,500 left, which is 15 hundred liters. So there's a 
two dollars fifty for the first one thousand liters and then zero point zero point one zero for each one hundred liter. So you have fifteen multiplied by zero point one zero. Alright. Hope you'll get that. So you must pay two dollars fifty plus fifteen multiplied by zero point one. That means you divide by 10, which is 1.5. Now, this is the bill itself for the water. Remember, you are supposed to pay $10 for rent. So, after you add this, you will have $10 for rent. 2.5 plus 1.5. 2.5 plus 1 is 1.5 plus another point 0.5 that's 2 2.5 I mean 2.5 plus 1 is 3.5 and then add another one you get 4 so the $10 rent plus the $4 water charge give you give you $14 so that seems like C for question 18C right now, let's look at question 19. See what question 19 is saying. You have to come down here to see question 19. Let me zoom out. This look like it will need a lot of zooming out. I don't want to zoom out too much though. Let me zoom in a bit more. All right. Erase the rough work from the previous question. This is saying triangle element is rotated anti clockwise about L through 90 degrees. What which of the following is its likely image? Hmm, interesting. Now let me redraw the triangle um, LMN triangle LMN I want a straight line for triangle LMN let me draw triangle LMN over here We have N L alright something like this L N M it's rotated about L through ninety degrees so it will turn about this this time if you should rotate this triangle what would it look like I want to rotate that triangle use a thinner line if I start rotating it N would come up here M L would remain the same I rotate it a little bit more this is M M would go over here a bit more. Alright. Again, N would come here. And M. At some point, N would go straight up. N would point straight up. From L to N would point straight up. Alright. And M would be on the left like this so L to N should point straight up so let's see what's happening here L to N should point straight up alright it looks like B 
is the answer so that's question 19b do you see why because you're rotating the triangle through 90 degrees anti-clockwise so what you're going to have happen after rotating this triangle let me take the line again to 90 degrees anti-clockwise L to N would point straight upwards so N would come up here this is showing L to M L to N going sideways mm -mm, no what else do I have here this is C is showing L to N going to the left D is showing L to N going downwards. The only one showing showing L to N pointing straight up is B. So the answer is B. Alright? So let me erase these and move on. This was what? Question 19. We reach 19. And then question 20. We're at question 20 now. Given that, let me zoom out a bit. Given that 2x plus 6 is equal to 7, what is x? Well, what you can do here is say, you have 2x plus 6 is equal to 7. You subtract 6 from both sides. So 2x plus 6 equals 7 minus 6 minus 6. So you have 2x is equal to 7 minus 6 is 1. Then you divide by 2. x equal. You divide by 2. You get a half. So question 20 is saying... C so in this case half now I'm saying suppose for some reason you didn't remember how to do it using this method the fact is that you have the answer right there in front of you is just to figure out which one is right you could try A and say 2 times 6 and a half 6.5 plus 6 is equal to 7 2 times 6 is already 12. You know, it's well past 12. So, it's well past 7. So, this can't work. If you say 2 times negative half. 2 times negative a half plus 6. 2 times negative a half is going to be negative 1. Negative 1 plus 6 is 5, not 7. So, you know, B is out. And if you try D... What does A say? A says negative six and a half. Right. A says negative six and a half. I had used six and a half before. If you try A and say two times negative six and a half, negative six point five plus six, you're going to have negative <coughs> two six twelve and thirteen. Negative 13 plus 6, but negative 13 plus 6 is what? It's not 7. No, we're near 7. Right? It's actually negative 7, not positive 7. If you try D, you're going to get 13 plus 6, well, a past 7. So the only answer left is C. Alright, so we continue with more questions at a later date. See you.